Hey there, this is Julie B with Be Smart Social Media, and thanks for coming back to our video channel. Social media is overcrowded, to say the least. There's a lot of noise, there's a lot of clickbait, there's just a lot of content out there that isn't helpful at all. And thanks to the, to the pandemic, I think we have even more competition that we're dealing with on social channels. So how does a maker like you break through the noise to actually get your message in front of new and existing customers? Well, it starts with just a little bit of homework. The first step is you are going to interview a few of your best customers, maybe around five to 10, depending on how many customers you have and where you are with your online store. And you're going to ask them four questions. The first question you're going to ask is where do they hang out online? Are they on Facebook? Are they on Instagram? Are they not even online? Those are things you need to know. The second question is you want to ask them what type of content they like to consume. Do they like to watch videos? Do they prefer to read blog posts or is it podcasts? Finding what type of content they want can really help you out. The third question is what topics do they find helpful? And I would let them just answer that and not really direct that too much. And then finally, the last question is you want to ask them why they purchase from your brand so that you know why they buy from you. Once you have those answers, you should be able to come up with about three to five statements that are uh, unique and differentiating factors for your brand, things that set you apart. And it can really be built off of what your customers told you. And then once you have those statements or the differentiating factors, you're going to create some content around those themes and then share those on social media and use a small ad budget, maybe around 50 to hundred dollars to test the content. And you're going to run to test. You're going to show the, the content you've come up with to your existing base that follows you on social media. And then you're going to also do a lookalike audience based off of your existing following. And the hope is that your existing customers will either share the content or buy from you or both. Maybe they'll do both. And your lookalike audience, those potential new customers, will engage with your brand, will learn more about your brand, and hopefully become customers by purchasing from you for the first time. Gaining attention these days on social media takes a really thoughtful and strategic approach to break through all of the noise. And if you go through those two steps that I just mentioned, interviewing your customers and then creating content and running test ads based on the content that comes out of those questions, you will be a lot further down the road to breaking through the noise and you'll really stand out beyond what your competition is doing. Thank you so much for watching in and be sure to keep checking in because we refresh this content regularly. I really appreciate it and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.